you know what I'm thinking, don't you? Here we go. <laughs> so if you're wondering what happens if you drive the new WL Toys into a kerb at about 30 mile an hour. Finally, after many, many months of this thing being initially shown, the new 114th scale from WL Toys is here. It's brushless, it's meant to do 75 kilometers an hour. Check it out on the bench and then we're gonna check that speed and then we're gonna take it for a bit of a run. So the first thing I wanna do is get this straight out of the box and have a look at the gearing and the motor. I wanna make sure that they've put the V2 stuff in. If anyone remembers the V1 version of this, it had a little issue with cogging. The gearing was too much for it. They did change it for the V2. And that's what I want to check on this one first before we do anything else. So it's definitely got the upgraded transmitter, which means you'll have no issues with range on this one. We need to take that gear cover off. Now, the motor mount is not the same color as the V2 ones. The V2 um, 12 scale ones had a blue anodized motor mount. That isn't, but let's whip that cover off. Check the gear in. So good news is it's got the 19 tooth pinion. I can't see the KV of the motor, but if it's got a 19 tooth pinion, I can only assume it's the 4,300 KV uh, brushless motor. So faster motor, smaller pinion, you should still be getting 75 kilometers an hour. So that's good news. Right, let's have a closer look. For those that aren't familiar, this is the brushless version of the 144001. This is the only one I've got. I've not got a stock one. This is my speed run. Um, and these came out, the brushed version came out quite some time ago now and it's like crazy. Everyone went mad for it. This one does about 80 odd mile an hour. Oh, <laughs> front flip. Really good platform. Um, but yeah, this is the brushless version. You can also get a slightly longer wheelbase 112 scale with the same electronics in it. It just depends what you want. These are a little bit more stable at speed. This one though is crazy fun, slightly shorter wheelbase. Should be able to backflip it and do all sorts of stuff with it. And if you're wondering, it is pretty much exactly the same as the E-Sheen. The only difference now, better motor and gearing combo. So this one should be a little bit easier to drive than the E-Sheen. Liking the coloring, looks good. And what we got underneath. So then underneath, we have got a 4,300 kV brushless motor. I'm presuming it's 4,300. That's what these have in them and the gearing's the same, but I can't see it on the motor. Little mini three wire servo under there, separate receiver and ESC on this one. It's a 60 amp ESC, little cat pack there. It should run 3S. It comes with a 2S LiPo. This is a 1,500 milliamp hour. Comes with a metal chassis. So these screws are your battery tray. There's two holes here. You can extend your battery tray. So it gives you the full length of the chassis to fit a slightly bigger battery. So it's a bit of a squeeze, but you should be able to fit like a 3S lipo in there or a longer 2s we will run the stock one today i'll probably do a speed run with my cnhl as well as well this is like a little turbo boost both 1500 milliamp hour this one's 100c and that one doesn't say what it is on it cnhl may give us a little boost of speed on 2s as with all of them adjustable camber and toe at the front adjustable camber at the rear metal drive shafts metal gears in there the drive shafts are a bit soft they do bend a little bit if you bash this thing around but you can straighten them relatively easy oil shocks which are really nice on these they do always come or most of the time i'd say 95 percent of the time you don't have any issues when these get here with the shocks and the oil in them and how they're set up so looking good set of knobbly dirt tires a little bit wider at the rear obviously being that it's a buggy and um, the diffs always come a little bit loose i'd suggest if you really want to take it apart grease up the diffs i'm not going to on this i'm going to run it straight out the box but I would recommend um, getting them diffs apart if you want to do that and put a bit of grease in them. Other than that, these are a decent buggy. Get a set of instructions, a wheel wrench and a battery charger. Let's get that battery on charge, actually. The light goes out when they're charged. Standard WL Toys transmitter. I really like these because they're easy to hold. They're easy to drive with. It comes with a steering trim and it also comes with a throttle duration. You can turn the throttle down. This thing's gonna be really fast, even on the stock battery. If you've got younger kids or you want to let someone have a go who's not driven these before you can turn the throttle down should be plenty of range on these new ones as well when you get these they come with a clear film on the body what you can do is um i'm not going to because i like to make it look nice and shiny on the video but you can leave this on for the first couple of runs when it gets a bit dirty and scratched up take this off and you've got a new truck again all right let's wait for that battery to charge let's go and see how fast it is and then give it a bit of a bash about it is a bit windy today so let's go with the wind behind us i think well we'll go both ways actually so 75 kilometers an hour is 46 mile an hour that is what we are looking for so no cogging it's good news the throttle is a little bit there's a little delay on the throttle actually 
I think you can adjust these ESCs, but there is a slight delay on the throttle. Well, it's fast. <laughs> Here we go then, first pass. Let's go. Oh, I don't know, is that 40? Is that 46? I'm not sure, you know. It's certainly fast. <laughs> the camber on that rear, I didn't see that when I got it out of the box. That camber on that rear is way too much. I don't know if you can see it on the uh, camera. That needs adjusting, definitely. Anyway, what was that? 69 kilometers an hour. That's not a bad effort. I didn't realize I had this in kilometers an hour. So 43 mile an hour, that is actually not a bad effort. I reckon though, if we put the CNHL battery in there, I reckon we're gonna hit 75. So what I've learned over the last few years is a battery can make a huge difference, especially to a brushless setup. So I reckon that battery, even though it's 1500 milliamp hour, the same as the stock one, it's a better quality battery, it's a higher C rating. I reckon we're gonna see that 75 kilometers an hour. Right then, let's go. <laughs> that is definitely faster. Drum roll, not quite 75, but better than the stock one. 73, a little bit better. So these are pretty good on all services. <laughs> Look how much power it's got, just a proper wheelie. I was gonna say, these are pretty good on all terrains. Bit of power there. <laughs> 40 plus mile an hour out of the box is loads, especially for a little thing like this. Just a little animal. <laughs> it's got a bit of understeer on there, but that's because of the, the power of it. It just pulls, just slides, slides around. Not a massive amount of grip on this surface. But these are little fun bashers. I think a few people do like race them and stuff, but mad. Absolutely mad. Oh, I wonder if, oh, am I gonna be able to lift that tire? That is a question. I don't reckon I'm going to be able to lift that. Ah. You know what I'm thinking, don't you? Here we go. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, I had to. I had to do that. Anyway, where were we? <laughs> yeah, this thing's so cool. Fast, uncontrollable. <laughs> So much power just on 2S. And like I mentioned, these will run free. I'm not sure it's going to be controllable on three. Well, it certainly delivered most of what it promised. <laughs> not quite 75 kilometers an hour, but still, what an absolute weapon. So no cogging with that new uh, gearing set up and the new motor. No issues at all with that. Definitely a good call from, that was a cool jump. That was a good call from them to put that uh, motor and gearing in it. That was a nice smooth jump. So if you're wondering what happens if you drive the new WL toys into a curb at about 30 mile an hour, I'd say the motor's a little bit <laughs> worse for wear. Obviously where it hit the front, it, all the forces pulled that motor out of there. And I don't think that's gonna go now. Oops. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. I've got to fix this because I'm doing a video with a load of other 14th scales to put up against this. So we need to get it fixed so we can do that video. So just watch it, hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time. Links for this in the description.